Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Minchi Podcast. Hey. Ooh, we're in a conference room because yeah. we got kicked out of the sound studio. <laughs> They're working in there tonight. So. Oh. Yeah, so uh, conference room. How's it going, Danny? How was, this, how was the weekend? Weekend was good. I did uh, Taejeon and Gwangju. Mm-hmm. Uh, so far... The best reaction came from Taejeon. Really? Yeah. Was it was it packed? Uh, there was a few tickets uh, mm-hmm. open. Okay. Uh, it was the biggest. It was the biggest place, room. right? Yeah. yeah. But Taejeon was so far. I, I, like everybody was good, you know. But mm-hmm. I think the the reaction, the best reactions came from Taejeon. Oh, right. And uh, Taejeon is known as the. No gem city, which means yeah, yeah, that's a no gem one. Like it's interesting because like um, about a year ago, Komiko did a tour, like a small tour. Yeah, and they too said that Tejun had the best reaction. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, now according to our small database, mm-hmm. if co- Korean comedians want to do a tour, they should probably hit up Tejun. Or even a special, right? right a special right, out right, there, right, yeah. right? So it was, it was really good times, and um, uh, you know, it's 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 interesting because, like, you know, a part of going on tour is like trying to um, consume the local fare, yeah, food, right? So like, like Busan, they're known for their 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 the raw Teji fish. Gukbap. Tejukbap stuff, yeah. Tegu, you know, other stuff. But you know, mm-hmm. they said get that mungtigi, which is like the the beef sashimi that type. Sticks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Tejun, I don't know if they ha- they were known for like a certain like pang. Okay, but I was like, yeah, fuck, it, I'm not gonna eat no pang, <laughs> you know, for like dinner, a, you know, like a sweet. I don't know. I'm, I, bang? I don't like, even know what it is. They're like, oh, oh you, you got to go to this bakery, and I was like, I'm not going to no fucking bakery. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean. And so I didn't go to no bakery. Uh, and then Gwangju, you know, the stereotype is that they have the best food. Yeah. Right. Uh, and you know, I, so what I did was for my Busan Daegu trip, I, for the host, I took a dude from Gyeongsangdo. Yeah. Tonga. Yeah. And then Daejeon and, and Gwangju are not all in Cheollado. Mm-hmm. Right. But Gwangju, I took a kid from the Cheollado. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, and so his accent is like yeah. very strong. Well, me, right? Like yeah. All that kind of shit. And um, he went as a host? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. yeah. He's Nobody's going to open except Tony, right? Yeah. And so I asked him, yo, well, like, what is Gwangju known for? Mm-hmm. And he goes, Hyung, there's only one thing you, you can eat in Gwangju that you probably won't find in Seoul, which is oritang, which is duck stew. I, I didn't know that. My my in laws are from yeah. um, Gwangju. I don't yeah. know if, why they're holding out. They yeah. they've held out on me on yeah. that. Or maybe you've eaten <laughs> it, but because you're always just not present, yeah. you know. So it's probably you probably eaten it. Well, I mean, I think we've had Ori before, yeah. but I don't think maybe he's right. You can't find it in Seoul, so it's yeah. not something we can yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we seek out really. It's you know what I it, it's. Uh, it has like the that kind of it kind of has a look of like uh, what do you call it like kamjatang, yeah, right like that reddish in, yeah. broth, mm-hmm. brownish reddish broth, mm-hmm. but it's like chunks of uh, duck in there mm-hmm. with um and then they they throw like a uh, minari noodles on it or not noodles mi, minari on top of it, mm-hmm. and so and then you just dip it in a sauce and you eat it drink the soup, it's good it. it I mean, I I really needed it because Tejon, it was like the reception was so good that I felt really good. Yeah. And on top of that, I didn't drink the whole week. So I went in, I went crazy in Tejon drinking. And so I drank at like six in the morning. Damn. Okay. And so then we had a drive to Gwangju, which is like a two, three hour drive. Yeah. And so as soon as we got to Gwangju, we went to the Oritang and it was very good hejang. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, the Gwangju was good too, but um, I was not a fan of the theater. Okay. You know? It wasn't as big. 
like 150 140 oh that's pretty good yeah, yeah. but like so there's a there's a it's a two story joint right so the, there's a second floor is like fixed seating mm -hmm. the bottom floor is like you just have to arrange chairs mm -hmm. but the chairs they had were like those plastic oh okay like outdoor shitty chairs oh, i see but they're not even like the same color they're just like <laughs> okay. white and blue and yeah. all this other shit yeah. and so it was just just it looked it didn't look good yeah you know yeah and so and the vibe of the place was a little bit kind of like old like the the dressing room bathroom like the sink was already clogged up like just just okay just i didn't feel yeah uh like I, I feel I'm, I don't know what the situation with the other theaters are in Gwangju, but yeah. I'm I, I was not I was not that pleased with the conditioning of the building. But overall, the show went well. Okay, good, good. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, I had a good time, and now I'm just I got five more shows to go: Incheon yeah. this week, and Wonju this week, and Wonju still like 57 tickets left oh really yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah. so you got to do another like uh, push for that ah uh, you know what at this point fuck it we're just doing it in front of 50 okay <laughs> right 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 <laughs> no it's still like 100 people though yeah yeah, right, yeah yeah and uh and then the uh, there's some tickets left for the the Seoul shows oh on uh the first the, time the two, first the yeah. 2 p.m one yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah. yeah that'll go uh so yeah i mean yeah. you know like um i've Again, the the tour is called Korean Dream. Yeah, and to a certain degree, it was my dream to uh, do stand up in Korean and also push it to a level where motherfuckers can tour and make money. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, you know, my uh, Korean dream is coming true. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy for you. And then, so, oh man, you're halfway through. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I okay. gotta say, man, like the 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 carnival rides back and forth. Brutal. They're brutal. But I mean, mm -hmm. if if it's brutal for me and the people that are not driving, there's mm -hmm. a guy like the, the you know, like the, the, the artist manager, the guy who just yeah does all the driving, that motherfucker must be like yeah. super beat. Well, you know? thankfully it wasn't like a like a, a tour that was like day after day after day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah and yeah. you split it up into three weekends. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that worked out yeah so you know it's uh um it's 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 fun you know the part of me wishes that i can like get there earlier uh -huh. like the day before yeah enjoy the the, the you know the the, the it's city pretty tight a little schedule. bit more yeah it's kind of tight and then you drove back after the show after kwangju so okay. we left kwangju at like at dinner and at 9 30 10 oh after the show after the show and then we ate okay uh, some of us drank okay and then we got back at like 1 30. oh wow yeah so that's that, a long drive yeah i mean for for again all i'm doing is sitting down it's like i i'm i'm on it's like flying fucking economy that's what it really is yeah. right and so it's fine for me so that it's not fun uh the only fun thing is that like you know i get to do it with people that i i like yeah and you know the Juani, the host for this tour. <laughs> so we have we have merch, right? We have a T-shirt. Oh, you do. You yeah, have merch. So, yeah, so it's, it's, it's called the Korean Dream, and then it has the cities in the back. I didn't know you right? made shirts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. But in Busan and Daegu, we sold five shirts. Right? Nice, nice. So, 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 <laughs> five so, shirts. so people were like, "Oh shit!" Like you know, they only like printed fifty or whatever. Right? Uh, okay. And they're like, "Oh shit, man!" Like. um, Nobody's buying these t-shirts, <laughs> right? And then so Chuani goes, uh -huh. and then like before he introduces me, he wears one of the t-shirts. The yeah. And he goes, I'm not telling you guys, I'm not forcing you guys to buy this shirt. But buy the fucking shirt. And uh, we sold like 40 t-shirts. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you need a good sales... Person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it was, it's, he was gaslighting the fuck out of these people. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, and the shirt's like 30, 
30, 30 bucks. Yeah. You know? They already spent 50 bucks. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, but he was fucking gas, gaslighting like a motherfucker right there. <laughs> uh, you know, like, um, oh, you know, you're like, oh, a couple, oh, a couple two you boy, all right. Like this dude was just like <laughs> nice. really just hammering down, got, yeah. you know, buying the t-shirt. So the vibe was all good, man. Like, you know, I, I think there's a part of it where uh, if they've seen uh, some of the clips online, yeah, then they get they get to know kind of like they have a little bit of an understanding of what to expect. Yeah, yeah. But but you know, live is a different story. It's totally different. And then there's some people that have no idea, and they're like, "Oh, who is this person? Why is he coming in?" You know, the, our city. Let's go check it out. Yeah, yeah. Typically older folks, mm -hmm. and uh, I could tell that they were like. What what is this? You know, like why why are people laughing at such uh -huh. crude shit? Like I saw like reactions where like people were shocked and like they were like looking around to see like why is everyone laughing? Okay, okay. You know? So I think it's still definitely like a culture shock. Yeah, you know, it's still but, phase one of mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. multiverse. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I'm Iron Man too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh yeah, man, that's that's what's going on with uh the tour. Um but this weekend was uh your daughter's oh, tour. It was. Tour. Uh, it was a tour. Uh, I'm not gonna name her name, but like hey, I'm sorry your godfather could not make it to your tour because I was in your mother and grandpa grandparents' hometown. <laughs> we were in Guangzhou. So it's that 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 works. Yeah. Um thank you for the gift. Yeah. Um she she actually put the ring on. It's a gold ring, uh, right? Uh. And we didn't know like thankfully my mother in law uh. saw her she was she put the ring in her mouth. Took it off her finger and put it in her mouth. Uh. And my <laughs> my mother in law ran over yeah. and took it out of her mouth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that, that that could have been um <laughs> quite an episode if she swallowed a gold ring well um, she then you gotta wait for her to shit it out dude. <laughs> right but, but um yeah so uh she uh she grabbed the uh stethoscope Ooh. so um we uh which you know come to think of it benji actually he grabbed money mm. and then we let him do it again mm. and then he grabbed the stethoscope too mm. when he was a when he was just a a baby yeah um but then we try to get her to grab another one, but yeah. she wasn't having it. She was yeah. just like so annoyed. Like right. why if we're just trying to get her to do shit yeah. uh, that she doesn't want to do. So, so so do you want at least one of your kids to be a doctor? Uh I don't care what they do mm. as long as they pay for my <laughs> retirement <laughs> that they take care of me. <laughs> you know, I, I have a one in two chance that one of them is gonna take care of me, right? So yeah. Um. I, I just have to. Yeah. So they both like. Uh. We let Benji. Benji wanted to grab again because mm. it was like a game, I yeah. guess, to him. Yeah. And but he was like moving other like, like he grabbed the money again. <laughs> so, but he knows what money is now. Yeah. So, so he knows that that can buy him those toys. Those those ball. The uh, what do you call those? Uh, those vending machines with the. Mm. the balls in it that mm. come out mm. so he's he's thinking if he grabs the money he can like get us to buy him those things so he's smart yeah smart good for, kid good for benji and then uh, on friday mm. i had uh i i was on the yundo hyun yundo hyun yeah nbc radio show mm -hmm. it was like a point radio thing so they yeah. they had like so it was uh, live, cameras like, yeah, 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 yeah. it was live and um, so I had my, my wife made me get a haircut the day before because <laughs> mm -hmm. I look like disheveled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I did that. It was, it was good. Yeah. Uh, did you, did you, I'm not even worried about your songs per se, mm -hmm. but like, you know, obviously there has to be an interview portion, right? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was like an hour in Korean. Yeah. 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 And I think I did okay. Like I, I, I said my Korean was bad and mm -mm. I went over some, there's like a lot of like comments. Uh, there's like a comment. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you call it? Like, yeah. A message board. Message comment. board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And people were actually encouraging me, saying my Korean's not not that bad. No, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awful, dude. So, but I'm yeah. happy to say that yeah. I'm actually because of that. Mm. So many people were listening mm. that I'm actually gating up on you on Instagram and followers. Oh, how many followers did yeah. you get from? from I got this? an additional ninety followers. Wow! <laughs> so I am just you know sh- a tad bit behind you. Wow, like ninety-five k behind you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's the most action I've I've gotten online in quite a while. So yeah, it was like. <laughs> Did you 90 wow. <laughs> amazing i don't know what to do with myself though i don't I, I didn't respond to any of like the um the people that messaged me dms and, yeah because i don't know i don't know i feel like if i respond to one i have to respond to all of them yeah uh and i only I respond know, to yeah. pretty girls yeah i don't know if i yeah. can respond to all four of them so it's like <laughs> it's a lot of work there you know <laughs> so. I've been staying off of Instagram even this past weekend. I'm, so dude, I've I'm been, assuming that the yeah. people that are listening are uh, the messages you got. Yeah, were probably all females. Uh, no, it wasn't. Dudes. Yeah, yeah. The, the comments were kind of equal. It was like uh, really. Yeah, it's kind of even playing field. Wow, I would assume that so. there would be like, like, like mostly like moms like. Or 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're they're they sent their kids off to like Hagwon or whatever. You know, I didn't you know. I didn't actually check to see who actually followed me. Oh. I just know that I got like a handful more. But in the messages, mm. it was like I think a couple from women and a couple from, uh, from guys. So, but I don't know what they wrote. I I just I haven't like. Yeah. Was there any sort of no- notable? Uh, like fuck ups or whatever in, oh in, yeah yeah there was you know like I, I you know we've done radio before so you're right. not a lot of talk brand names yeah, or yeah, even yeah. like you can't even say youtube or yeah yeah uh instagram yeah so you know yeah. was like oh do you have a no tube uh oh. and uh in your gram yeah, yeah, yeah and i was like nah, well um well <laughs> like I was like, I think I have it. <laughs> and then right there, so like he's like walking me through, like he's kind of like hinting at me. We can't talk about, yeah, we yeah, can't yeah. actually say the names. Yeah. And then, and so he, he, um, yeah, so he didn't have to explain. I was just like, oh yeah, like I get what you're doing. And then he was like, oh yeah, by the way, where can people watch your movie? I was like, oh, on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and I, was like, I was like, oh gosh, I, mean, I just totally like. Uh, and then he just kind of brushed by it. And then, yeah. Uh, it was fun though. Like we we had um, some fun moments. Like mm-hmm. I was like, I, I said, you know, I was explaining to him why my voice is the way it is, and like what I was telling him, like I pay more attention to lyrics because my voice is just you know mm. not I don't I don't have a good great voice or it's not a power vocal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I grew up in New York and I had like very thin walls that yeah. and neighbors that. Yeah didn't like me singing loud yeah, right yeah. so and then so he's like oh um so he was like well i grew up in the shigor yeah and i could that, that's probably why i became a rocker yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. this is kind of funny and then um what was another one do you think you saw your movie no he told me he didn't see it so he was oh. gonna watch it this weekend okay, okay okay yeah and then um yeah so he was like we were talking he was like talking about the the name Big Phony, where that came mm-hmm. from. And he's like, what do you want people to call you? Big Phony? Or I was like, no, just Bobby. Mm. He's like, oh, like Bobby Kim. He's like, yeah. oh, do you, Bobby Kim was the last guest on the show, I uh-huh. guess, right? And then he was like, do you want to meet Bobby Kim? Yeah. And I was like, uh, no, I don't, I don't want to meet any other Bobbies. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a good laugh yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the banter was okay. Mm. Um, I was I was nervous, though. Like... Um, I got through my songs okay. Yeah. Um, but I could tell, you know, I was shaking mm. and I couldn't, I wasn't playing as well as I could mm-hmm. because I was like kind of ner- really nervous. Yeah. Um, but besides that, you know, I got through the songs. It wasn't like, it wasn't too, it wasn't too rough. Well, you didn't, yeah. you didn't, it's not like you forgot the lyrics like, no, I didn't. ten years ago when yeah. I when I came to visit, or twelve years ago. Oh yeah, when you did it live. Well, I wasn't drunk this time. 
Um, yeah, no, I, I actually got all the lyrics right. And then, mm. um, it was cool. It was fun. Um, it kind of like gave, gave me like, like it reminded me of my previous life, mm. so to speak. So, um, which is good and bad. I noticed like if the next day I was really depressed, mm. but I normally get depressed after I have like shows, mm. but this felt like that. It mm. felt like I got through a show because right, right. it was like an hour long and, right. you know, I sang like four or five songs and mm. um, it was a big deal. So uh, the next day I was just, it was the tour and I was just not in a good mood. Mm. And my wife called me out on it. And we had, we had some words. And, yeah. Um, so it kind of like brought me back to, to, to that, old, the old Bobby, big phony. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like kind of made me think, is this, is that because it's always the dream to get back to music of course you know but then it comes with like those things like yeah me being depressed after shows like that so yeah you know that feeling right like when you mm. i don't know if depressed is the word i like to say that i feel after shows i do feel empty empty yes. yeah that's uh but you know like I, I i try my best to snap out of it like yeah. you know what i mean like 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 I mean, obviously, for for me, like right now with this tour, like afterwards we go out, eat, drink, yeah. right, yeah. and then you know, thankfully, I have funny people around me mm -hmm. that fill the emptiness, fill the emptiness yeah. with like like random shit, you know. Yeah. But you know, like I know how I, I know what that emptiness feels like. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's 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 me going like just trying to like appreciate appreciate what just happened mm -hmm. and then move on knowing that life's not going to change yeah you know what i mean like just just the 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 the, the realistic thing about it is like you but, know but mentally you like mentally you need to train yourself over the years to know that this is not it's just like it's a normal thing to feel that emptiness. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know it's coming, so you know how to fill it. Like yeah. with with other things, I'm really bad at that. Yeah, yeah. Um, that and because I I haven't like you know I don't I've never been on tour. Mm -hmm. Like I I've been on like mini tours and mm -hmm. stuff, but um, so I I don't really know what it's like for like major artists right that have to do world tours and stuff like that. But I know that's a thing also. Yeah, um, but you know it's yeah. kind of like. It, it's not like you ran a marathon or you you, you it was yeah. like a sporting activity. However, you feel zapped out, like like yeah. your ener your life energy, yeah, zapped out. You know, you're playing Street Fighter and he starts off with all yellow, and then you get to like you got you got this much yellow left. Yeah, that's what it feels like to me. Yeah, and um, you know, uh, but then I just go, hey, fuck it, got to, yeah. Get to shit tomorrow, right? Or get yeah. to M. Bison. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> let me kick some. Let me kick a fucking car right now. Let me get some points, <laughs> <laughs> right? And so I don't know, man. Like, uh, I, I've, I've, you know, obviously this, this, this tour. I feel I, not even just tour. Like, even shows at the club. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, I'm, I'm beat. Like, I, after yeah. I got back on. Uh, Sunday morning. Sunday basically. morning. Yeah. I slept for a few hours. I went to the club and did another show, like a 15 yeah. minute set, right? And just like, fuck it. Like, I woke up going, God damn it. Oh, you, oh right. I'm so, goddamn tired. So the first weekend you had a show, you had shows on Saturday, Sunday. Mm -mm -mm. And then the next day you came to Dununchi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yesterday you essentially had off. So you got back. You yeah, did yeah, yeah. Friday, Saturday this yes, week, yes. right? So everything's then, gonna be Friday, Saturday. Okay. Up until the end, right? So you had three days of shit. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. And you had shows on Thursday yeah. too. So yeah. wow. Okay. So like I'm I'm on stage a lot, right? Yeah. And so, you know, the a part of it is like I don't want to fall victim to laziness mm -hmm. because you know, a decent majority of people that come to the shows, yeah, even at the club, they're coming to see me. Yeah, a, a, a big number of them, yeah. right? And when it, once it becomes that, it becomes a fan meeting. 
Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh shit, like, okay, I know this guy. Mm -hmm. You know, he's funny on these clips. We get to see him live. The energy is different. Oh, okay. Right? Then then when, when I first started, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I'm obviously at the tour, for the most part, they're like, oh, it's it and and they're they're pretty much stone cold sober. Yeah. Seeing they're it. They're not drinking. And yeah. they're and they're just there to just be like, oh yeah, like yeah. like they're already on your side. Yeah. It's easier, right? Yeah. Which makes me go, ah, you know, like you, you get a little you get a little bit, how do you say, like big headed. You get a little bit like arrogant, like mm -hmm. oh you, your your shit don't stink. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah. Part of you is kind of cruising, right, than, right, like, right, right. And so that's something that I'm trying to fight off, knowing that pretty soon I got to throw away a, an hour, hour and a half of material. Oh yeah, yeah. Right? And so that's, true. that's why I, um, you know, I've been, I've been, uh, keep on going up, like I'm trying new bits here and there. Good, good. You know, um, speaking of like uh, people knowing me, uh -huh. yesterday. Uh, uh, my 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 homie's older brother came into town. Uh -huh. He's not Korean, right? He came with his wife, right? And he came, like they, you know, they they were here for the weekend. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I couldn't hang out with them or show them around because I was on tour. Oh yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. Sunday, I was like, "Yo, like, I got you. Whatever you want, let's do this." After the show, oh yeah, we met up after the show. So so we we had dinner, and then you know, let's have, let's have a little nightcap. So I took him to our buddy's bar. I and then Ito and Blacklist. Oh, the Blacklist. Okay, cool. And, you know, it's my my buddy's older brother. I've known him since I was in high school and he was in college at the time. And he, uh, you know, was one of those cool older brothers that would, you know, buy you buy you alcohol or, you know, uh -huh. like, you know, shit like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you know, home, home, he was a homie, right? Yeah, yeah. And... Um, so he he goes he goes hey man Terry uh, Terry tells me like you're uh, you're you know you're you're relatively you're blowing up in Korea like mm -hmm. people I was like yeah you know not, I don't know about blowing up but you know it's a little, little sparkle you know yeah and he goes hey, do people recognize you I said, I mean not to the point where they approach me they it's more like you know talking like oh that's that that dude you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. he goes oh really and so we go to blacklist. And there's a dude at the bar. He already looked fucked up, and something uh, I could tell in his eyes the vibe wasn't. He, he had he didn't have a good vibe. He was alone. Yes, and he looked at me drinking, and then he uh, approaches me and he goes, oh, "Are you Danny Cho? I'm a big fan." And he shakes my hand, right? And so like you know, you know, my homie's older brother's like, "Oh shit, oh, like, yeah. I, I get gotta, to see this live, this yeah. motherfucker." You know, like he's somebody, <laughs> like you know. Yeah. And then this dude goes, "Hey, like I want to buy you a drink," and I said, "Oh, okay, man, thank you." He's like, uh, "What do you like to drink?" I said, "I'll drink whatever you're drinking." He's like, okay. and then he goes, "I'll, I'll have a, I'm gonna buy you a bottle." Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. So he bought a bottle of eighteen hundred Anejo. Wow. Right? Which is about three hundred bucks at yeah. the bar, right? Yeah. And so, like, you know. I was like, oh man, thanks, dude. And so, you know, like obviously I'm gonna mm -hmm. drink with him. And this dude is Korean, Korean, can't speak a lick of English. Did he tell he, tell you how much he paid in taxes last year? No. <laughs> oh, that asshole, right? <laughs> so this dude, and then like um, and then you know, my, my homie's brother was sitting on this side, right? Uh -huh. And so, like, so he's obviously he can't speak Korean, so yeah. he's speaking to me in English. Yeah. You know, the owner Chris can't speak Korean that well. Yeah. Either. So everyone's speaking English. So this guy's like, you know, like kind of like mouthing like, yo, like kind of kind of to the point of we're in Korea. Why the fuck is everyone speaking English here? Kind oh, of really? attitude, right? Really? And oh, I was like, no. you know, what the fuck, you know? Okay. And then he's he starts uh pointing at uh my homie's yeah. uh, brother and going, Oh, he looks like my uncle. Uh -huh. Can you tell him that he looks like my uncle? I was like, Why the fuck would I tell him he looks like your uncle? Well, what does that do? You know? Yeah. And he's starting like cross the line, like saying, like, trying to like Tell jokes and but but be offensive and be roasting towards me or to to, oh, to, the, to he's punching down to to, to my homie's <laughs> brother. Okay, you know, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? You know, you know. And then like, it's like, oh no, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm just you, since you're a comedian, I'm trying to make you laugh. I was yeah. like, you don't need to. It's not yeah. your job. You know. I go, what do you do? Uh -huh. I was like, oh, I'm an artist. Oh, let me see your work. Uh -huh. So like he he like pulls up his iPad and uh -huh. then he starts like. Going to his uh, Instagram, yeah, yeah, and then he starts scrolling to the stuff, and he goes, "You know what? Like, none of my art represents like what I want to do." 
Okay. You know? All right. When I was like, okay, like, what do you, what do you want to do? He's like, no, I kind of want to be like Van Gogh. But this motherfucker, like, he was, he, he's doing like, it's like uh, illustrations, right? Yeah. But. Were they it, good? <laughs> not really. I mean, I've, but I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm yeah. not, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? An art file. Like, I don't, I don't do oh, that yeah, shit, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. But this dude was like, he was trying to like say that he wants to do deeper shit or whatever. Okay. But in all honesty, the only famous artist he, he mentioned was Van Gogh. I said, like, you know, like, yeah, like, this is me trying to be Van Gogh here and this is me trying to be Van Gogh there. And I was like, oh, okay. do you know any other artists aside from Van Gogh? Right. He goes, oh, yeah, but like, you know, this whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, he's, then he shuts off his iPad and looks at me. He's like, no, I think, you know, like we're, we're kind of in the same field. Oh, okay. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, oh, because we're both artists. Yeah. And I'm like, and I went, no, well, not, not really, because uh, my yeah. art's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. Right. Because oh, no. I, got, I got into this moral of this guy's like yeah, yeah. being a dick the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, and yeah, then, sir. and then like, and then he started crossing the line some more and more. And then I go, I go, what are you doing, man? Stop that. Right. And then he goes, he goes, I paid $300 for this bottle, you know, and, and you can't, uh, I, you know, like what? I can't do this. I paid $300 for this bottle. Oh, that's right. Right. Yeah. right? That's yeah. what he said. Like, yeah. so, so I looked at him and I was like, what am I? Some, some fucking prostitute. Oh man. Okay. You know? Yeah. I'll pay the 300 bucks. The fuck out my face. Oh no. Yeah. Did it, it got... Yeah. I see. He got yeah, messy. Get the fuck out of my face, you know? Oh shit. And then, you know, I told uh, the owner, like, you know, get get this dude away from me. Oh you man. And so, so what 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 did he took what did he do? Did he 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 left? Yeah, so Chris, you know, basically packed up the 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 eighteen hundred and nail in a uh -huh. plastic bag. Uh huh. And basically told him it's time for you to And, and he left that. like that? Yeah. Like he just left Be just saw or like well, I don't know. I don't I don't give a fuck. Butthurt yeah, or yeah, yeah. You guys exchanged some words. <laughs> nah, nah, there was no like fight after that. It was uh -huh. just me just like, get the fuck out of here. Like, uh -huh. it's dude away from me. Oh, man. You know? Is he, uh, did he try to contact you, you or anything like nope. that? No. Nope. Okay. And I hope he doesn't. Well, maybe he's w watching this podcast now. And, but how? Uh, he can't speak English. <laughs> maybe he's just gonna... Because he goes, we're in Korea. <laughs> we should speak Korean at this bar. I don't understand why. Well, if if you are listening and you understand what we're saying, yeah, go fuck you know, yourself. It's okay that you 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 don't you're not a fan of Danny's anymore. But I, I'm kind of low on fans, so feel free to follow me, Big Phony, uh, on, on Instagram. I'm trying to gain up on Danny, uh, I I'll I'll, I'll get, take free alcohol. I will <laughs> I will talk shit about me. I will trade <laughs> twenty thousand of those motherfuckers if I have twenty thousand of those type of you know yeah. like like. Like, I'm very agreeable. Yeah, if he yeah. says that we're both artists and yeah. that we're kind of the same, I'll yeah. say, cheers to that. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I, no, not when, not when the first 40 minutes he's just like trying to yeah. be a dick. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, you know, I, I told, I think, I don't know if I said this to you, but I, you know, I have a, a good young of mine who used to be in the entertainment business and you know now he, he, he owns a fucking Pojang Ma Chan Hong there. Oh, yeah, yeah, well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But people, there's a lot, there's a lot of famous and powerful people around them. And yeah. I asked them, yo, how do those people like party without like getting into shit? Yeah. Like yeah. what is uh, I'm I go, I'm not there yet, but I need to yeah. know like what's a safe way to play in Korea. Yeah. With with almost zero chance of like shit getting started. Yeah, yeah. And he goes, you should probably go to uh, bars where you know the owner. Mm -hmm. And you should probably go to a place where you're not all out in the open. Oh, okay. The, right, right. If there's this private room yeah. or whatever, that's probably the safest way to okay. do it. Right. Okay. And it, it just, it just, it resonated with me like yesterday where, you know. Yeah. And also you shouldn't probably because you could tell that he was already drunk. Yeah. It, it should have been just a drink, not a bottle. <laughs> like yeah. But, seeing, but, but the, the other part is, yeah. look, he's willing to buy a bottle. Yeah. It's my friend's bar. Yeah. I want my friend 
That's make, true. Make 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 a little bit of money. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was the reason. I wasn't. Yeah. I I would when he said he wanted to buy a bottle. I was like, I'm not gonna drink that shit with you. Like the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I want to do it so that like my my friend who owns the bar can make. Yeah. Some money. Yeah. You know. Man. Yeah. So. And then, and then, so my, my homie, my homie's brother goes, like, at first he was like, oh shit, someone recognizes you, bro, to like, damn, that's, that must be stressful. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes it works in your favor, like yeah. when we went to Cheju. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those, those kids, we drank more than one bottle. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was yeah, like yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah. But, but it started out sober. Yeah. Like everyone started out sober, so we gradually got drunk together. I, right? I, I so. think I think some like, you know, in terms of everyone kind of being on the same starting point and then like accelerating to drunkenness. Yeah. Is 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 probably a good factor. It's but safer. also I, I also think that um like even if even if we were sober and those kids started off a little buzzed, mm-hmm. like I felt like those kids were they had they had a they were cool they were cool kids yeah. you know yeah. versus this dude that clearly mm-hmm. has um uh self esteem there's there's yeah. there's issues with this dude like yeah. you know like he's trying to you know like justify that like none of his art that he puts up online that yeah. people can see is a reflection of what he really wants to do. I mean, I, I feel do. bad for him because yeah. I've been drink. I I drink alone at bars. Yeah. Uh, sometimes yeah. you know, and so uh, he's maybe he's just not. He doesn't hold his liquor well. But he happened to be drinking at a bar by himself, drunk. Uh, on he a was Sunday night. He was then, drunk like, before when before he got to the bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so, that's what the the bartender told me. Okay. Yeah. 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 So. It's just a uh, bad timing, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe if he was sober and yeah. bought you a bottle, yeah, he might might have been. Uh, I don't know. He could have still been. A I'm break. not, d- dude. <laughs> you and I'm your trying to justify s- stupid benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Fuck that, dude. He's a he's a shitty, shitty. It's a shitty, shitty way to yeah, like that, like this doesn't sound good. Like yeah. shitty fan experience, right? Um, before I left for Guangzhou. And Tejan, I got hooked on a Netflix documentary. I don't know what it is in in uh, what the English title is, uh-huh. but in Korean it's called "Nanan uh, Shinida." Shin means like God. Oh, okay. Right. So yeah. it's a it's basically a documentary series about four Korean cults. Oh, okay. And the scandals. Is it four episodes? No, it's that? eight. Like, it's eight. Okay. But the first three. Is like for one cult, yeah, and then the 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 fourth one is for one cult, yeah, and then two and two, like it, it like oh, so. Okay. It's, it's are they interconnected? They no, they're all separate, okay. separate, yeah. So the first three episodes, I saw the whole thing. Oh, yeah, usually, usually, like you binge watched it. <laughs> yeah, no, usually when when I like turn on Netflix, especially on the documentary side, mm-hmm. like I just. I treat it as like background music. Oh, yeah, just you just let it mean? play. And then, like, and then I'm on, I'm on my phone, like reading whatever, or yeah. fucking playing, ca- you know, games or sh- some shit. But the the first cult, uh-huh. uh, I don't know what the cult is called, but uh, it's about this cult leader uh, whose initials are JMS. Uh huh. You know. Okay. And like. He started off in Shinchon and whatever, like oh, you, know, whoa. you know what I mean, like in your hood. Yeah. So what what he did yeah. was he 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 evangelized to uh, people in that area. Yeah. Like the college kids. Did he speak English too? No, like, no, no. <laughs> and so this dude was like, you know, like apparently he, he had healing powers. So you got hooked on this. Yeah. So yeah. you were really into it. The reason why was because like all movies, you gotta yeah. you gotta the first five minutes something. It, like Crazy spectac- happens, happens yeah. right? Yeah. And so basically, this motherfucker, right? Uh, supposedly, like, like raped, sexually assaulted, like his followers, like, like his for for decades. Well, he kept it going. Yeah. Like people yeah. still stayed. The reason why is because 
because of his healing powers and and like you know he says he read the bible 2000 times or whatever mm -hmm. so like he somehow connected that you yeah. know like the coming of the the messiah uh -huh. the second uh, coming usually right? through 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 whatever his calculations were yeah. that they will be born in 1940 something right mm -hmm. I was born in 1940. You know what I mean? Yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So he basically he's claiming that he's a second coming. He apparently has healing powers and people are yeah. just getting all fixed. So yeah. So if the if if you tell your 300,000 followers that you're the second coming of Messiah mm -hmm. and they all believe it. Mm -hmm. And then now like he's trying to So it's it's fucking creepy. We're okay. Healing powers, right? So yeah. he'll bring a girl in and be like, "Hey, like, uh, you know, you don't have to go to the doctor. Like, I can, I can give you a health checkup." Oh yeah, okay. Right, and then he put his hand on her breast and be like, "Oh, you know, feeling for lumps. Uh -huh. You know, oh, let me let me go. You know, maybe down there of like 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 cysts in the vagina." Oh, or whatever. So the victims actually are in the documentary. They talk about the yeah 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 yeah. yeah. But like through. everyone was, most of them were anonymous. Yeah. Except the main girl that 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 completely like blew the lid off. Oh, she was like a main. Okay, yeah, she so put she her she put her whole she she did not was not anonymous. Yeah, face all up there, mm -hmm. uh, and also she while they were uh, while she was having sex, she she turned on a record like the phone, so she recorded. Oh, she recorded it. Yeah, yeah, and okay. apparently. What's on the documentary is about a tenth of, of what really. What, oh, oh, they actually play it. No, okay. yeah. So it's real. Yeah. Apparently, it's like even way more hardcore. But like uh -huh. the 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 producer was like this is too much. Uh -huh. And so like it's just sexual predatory. Okay. Um, like it, after hearing that, can you tell that it was like he was just like a normal guy that just like had problems or like. <laughs> Or was I, like, I wouldn't call him normal. He was justifying, uh, he was justifying sex with his followers, and they were like, she was recording because she wanted to catch him. Now I got to watch this thing. Yeah, though she wanted to catch him, yeah. obviously, because like yeah. in the beginning, they're trying to they, they themselves are trying to convince themselves. Yeah, that he's a sham. No, they are why they're they they are going to be brides of. Of, Messiah, uh, of the second coming uh, of the Messiah. Okay. okay. Right? Yeah. But then, you know, eventually people were like, I like the, especially the main girl was like, hey, oh, this is, this is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you know, she can't just leave. And, you know, even like people that were trying to uh, expose this guy. Uh -huh. Right? Like, you know, uh, like they would go, they would, they would go expose him on the news or whatever. And his followers go for, get the pd and fucking try to, the follower like one dude who, who tried to expose this guy mm -hmm. like on on television or whatever followers went to the dude's dad's house and yeah. bashed his face in oh really yeah, yeah yeah what the yeah yeah so like it's it's like you know they are that um i guess I don't want to even say devout. They're that fucking crazy that yeah. they they're going to. How are these people going to defame and deface our Messiah? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the yeah. part that I made me laugh. You shouldn't laugh at documentaries like this, but it made me laugh. Was like, so so they they do like this like monthly or yearly like um, outdoor event, right? Okay. And they're playing soccer, and apparently this dude JMS scores four thousand goals in four hours. Well, based on <laughs> like uh, what, <laughs> like that—that's just they just rigged the scoreboard, and they actually physically no, they, they actually like saw him. That's what no, take down that's the, what the that's what claimed. the followers were saying, oh. and then, but then obviously like because he's God or the Messiah, so when he fucking kicks the ball, they're gonna jump the other way, get mm -hmm. out the way, right? Yeah, but I was like. Yo, man, four thousand goals in four hours. At first, I was like, "What? Well, that's that's ridiculous." And I went and really just simple division. Yeah. Oh, you that, did the math. That's sixteen to seventeen goals a minute. <laughs> you know what I mean, dude? I feel yeah. like this guy uh, is on par with Kim Jong Il. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That guy's a. Uh, 
apparently, if you look online, yeah. like all of his accomplishments, yeah, he's yeah. like every time he golfs, he's it's always like a hole in <laughs> one, one. <laughs> <laughs> par six, hole in one. No, so that like shit like that made me laugh. Yeah, because I was like, you know, like, and you know, obviously, people go, how would you, how do you even like, how do you convince yourself to believe in this? Yeah, four thousand. Yeah, like, you know what, what I mean? You know what I'm what, saying? Who is like, okay, you know, at least make it believable. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like stuff like that made me go. Like eight goals is a lot. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> I know, like, in four hours, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you know, uh, so that 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 kind of stuff made me just go the lengths that uh people go go through to to believe in nonsense like this. Yeah. A part of me wanted to like join a a, a cult mm-hmm. or not join but attend a cult cultistic ritual in Korea just to be like yo what the fuck like how do people just to meet the the kind of people that yeah, yeah, fall yeah, yeah. for that. I just want to yeah. see it, you know. So I've been walking around Shincheon going like, oh, how are my eyes? Because <laughs> they go, you know, oh, you have very kind <laughs> eyes. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I go, oh, yeah. that, that, that. <laughs> Just walking around. Like, I know. I wouldn't do like, like you're playing with fire, I think. I know. When, when it comes to cult uh, members. Like if you, if they find that that you're just messing with them mm. and you're trying to infiltrate mm. you could become one of their victim, victims yeah, yeah, yeah. right yeah, yeah, yeah. so i know i yeah. know it's not safe but i'm just like i'm the very like it's it 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 makes me go like why do people believe this hard mm-hmm. you know what i mean and on top of that like the you know the money that that mm-hmm. you know they're 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 throwing at him yeah, yeah. right he's gambling it away yeah. or he's you know like oh, taking on you know he's buying houses all over all over like vietnam and fucking china just just cults freak me out ever since i you know what like i don't even want to talk about them because yeah. they they uh, they're so intense like mm. uh you know the earth science and <laughs> like mm-hmm. all those like <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i like with all the the attacks that they Mm-mm. social attacks or yeah what like I just like rather not like deal with those kinds of people. Uh, but, yeah. but because of this documentary, uh, of, you know, like this is going going on for twenty plus years, especially that Damn. first cult, right? Yeah. And so you know, the dude's like an old man now, but yeah. like it came back to life, and his ass is like you know, yeah, in deep shit again because this documentary. He was always in deep shit, but he's in deeper shit now. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember I when I was a kid, um, probably in junior high school, I want to say, mm. there was a cult in New York or just like in, amongst like Korean churches. The Moonies? Not the Moonies. Uh. It was like this this guy or this kid that said he had a dream when mm. Christ was coming back October 30th, mm. 1994 or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so all these people like started to follow uh, this kid and mm. his mother or something yeah. like that. and then they, everyone was selling all their stuff and mm. giving you know the money to the cult and yeah, yeah. they're selling their houses their all their possessions because you know they're uh, the rapture is going to happen yeah october 30th right and i remember as a kid you know we were told that this is a cult this is like you know the bible clearly states we nobody knows yeah, right yeah. and so um, but I remember October 30th coming around, yeah. you know, and then part of me was like, what if they're right? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm a kid, yeah. you know, I'm a little less like, you know, um, uh, like in set in my spiritual, like, mm-hmm. you know, knowledge and, and ways that, but part of me was like, oh my gosh, what if they're right? Yeah. And it started to depress me. Yeah. I remember as a, as a young kid. Yeah. And so I, I know that. Those cults prey on people like kids like me or like yeah. people that are very vulnerable yeah. and just kind of like, you know, are bad at like really. But th- that's that's um, what's interesting to me is that the, the who they targeted mm-hmm. were um, college kids from the the top schools the top in schools. Korea. So okay. Seoul, yeah. Yeonsei, Goryeo, yeah. like 
And especially in the Shincheon area, there's like yeah. four. There, there's Iwa, there's fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Hongdae, there's uh, Seogang. You know what I mean? They're like there's four colleges yeah. in my neighborhood. You yeah. know what I mean? And so like that's who they were targeting mm -hmm. because no matter how how smart you are, still young and vulnerable. Yeah, you're yeah. you're a stupid Super. kid at the end of the day, right? Yeah, so very true. Yeah, and so um, yeah, man, it it. it, it it, Sad stuff. Man. It was a it was it was a wild documentary. And like I'm watching it and look, as a comedian, like you want to talk about things this. everybody's watching, right? And, and it's <laughs> it, but also like how do you you know now now the question is how do you find the funny in this? Oh yeah, yeah. Right? You're always constantly doing that. So, right. Yeah. And I do yeah. find I can find the funny in it. Like I can write bits about it, uh -huh. but then the people who listen to it are gonna be like, "Are you gonna? Are you making fun of the victims?" Oh right, yeah. I'm yeah. like, no. Listen to what the joke was. Yeah, yeah. But no, but you're. There are clearly thousands of victims. Yeah. And you're making a joke out of the situation. Yeah. And I go. Then we can't do comedy at all. Oh yeah. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's the part that I wanted to like. Like yeah. touch, and you know, people are like ah, like because the 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 soccer stuff is the 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 clean the clean part of the thing. Mm -hmm. I've, there's other shit that like, like in the recording, right? Like that that girl who recorded his like he was saying some like like wow. <laughs> right, like, 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 like oh you have a, you have a big ass, right? Oh, you know, oh, really? Right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> and then, like, you know, like, oh gosh, oh. okay. But he goes, he goes, did you come twice? Uh -huh. Fifty, three, a hundred. Like I was like, oh what? You know, but but in that order of like, I was like, that's not how numbers work. <laughs> how do you oh, jump God. back and forth, you fucking idiot? Right? Yeah. yeah. And he goes, oh, na na, like I came fifty times. Oh my gosh. Right. And I'm just like, Ugh. but but also <laughs> just like, how do you come 50 times? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, like shit like that yeah. is is make, you know, like, and then there was a they blurred out the faces, but uh -huh. there was one video that so the the girls would send him videos. Mm -hmm. Right. So all these girls want to basically not want to, but they want to have good be in good faith, uh, yeah, yeah, good standing with the dude. Yeah. So like the girls would send, like 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 photos of themselves. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. And the more fucking provocative, yeah, the photo is, the more closer you are oh, to to the table, I right? I see. And so they they found video of like four girls naked in a tub, and a picture like a, of the dude there going like, "Chagia, yo po, ilutroa," and one's like licking the picture, you know. Oh my gosh. And I went, <sighs> that's, that's, that's full blown, full blown, like, you know, craziness. Yeah. You know, it's like, uh, so how do we start a cult? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm waiting for. I'm yeah. waiting for <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, to be honest, what's yeah. the difference between a cult and a religion? I, I really yeah. don't know the definition, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, most yeah. people that, I mean, yeah. most Yeah. Yeah. It, it's very, um, yeah, it's hard to define. Yeah. Um, Somebody said that if this, the person who started it is dead, yeah, it's most likely a religion. Yeah. The person who started it is alive is probably a cult. Yeah. That and taxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, yeah. Uh, tax free. Um, I don't know. So I, you know, in in uh, you know, I do the Korean podcast with Tonguni, right? Yeah. And then I said, "Hey, we should start a stand up comedy cult, uh -huh. right?" And I'd be like, "Uzasa, the pun Oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna watch the uh the cult doc actually, because like it sounds interesting. Mm. I feel like I got enough information about it but that's just one cult there's there's three others oh, man. that that are that, I mean, that stuff like really interest like it's interesting to watch mm -hmm. like the um so i know i'll have a good time watching it but then oh, okay also, here's a, here's another one it's a big bummer okay here's another one 
for 20 plus years, certain girls, certain women of that first cult, the JMS cult, yeah. went to the police yeah. and said, this happened. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. I think it's the third cult showcase in this one. Uh, female leader. Mm-hmm. Right? And uh, they live in a commune. Okay. So they don't even recruit new people. They just live in a fucking commune. Uh-huh. And she's... She's whatever the, she's their God or Messiah yeah. or whatever. And uh, so she makes all the men, especially the good looking ones, um, basically get in line to have sex with her at night. Okay. Right. Damn, it's all like, okay. Right. Because she has magical powers. I don't, like, I don't okay, know. Okay. We, I don't you know, anyway. but, 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 but. <laughs> Nobody went, to, no guy went to the police. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, right. So I'm, I'm just saying like, like from, from the guy's point of view, uh-huh. I mean, she's not like even like, like sexy or anything. Uh-huh. So I'm, I'm assuming the dude's like, I mean, you know, I guess. <laughs> right, right, right. Like, I think that was the attitude, you know, they knew going in what's going to happen for yeah. the most part. Right. You know, so. Yeah. I I, I found I found that very interesting. That like it, it's intriguing too that these are Korean documentary. Doc, yeah, 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 it's a Korean documentary. Mm-mm. So I, I'm I'm interested in that to see yeah. like well, what the what the hook was. I mean, to me, stuff. Waco, Texas was the only thing I re- I remember about oh, yeah. like some like yeah. crazy ass cult mass suicide shit or Heaven's yeah. Gate was another one, right? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but this one was uh, very. Uh, very interesting to know like that people want to find salvation mm-hmm. right uh like you know like people died because like 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 people died of tuberculosis at one of those cults because yeah. like you're supposed to pray it out of you oh right you know and so, Man. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you're supposed to pray it out of you instead of uh, your your faith is weak if you have to go to the doctor, you know? And Jeez. if it's his, and, and, and if it's God's will, then you will be cured of it. So people died of fucking cancer because, like, they knew they had cancer, but they prayed it out of, they tried to mm-hmm. pray and it didn't work, right? So... A part of me, I don't even believe in really, I personally, I don't even believe in healing powers. You know, you, you remember like on TV, like not even like the cable access, like Christian TV, right? Like ministry channels late at night. Yeah, yeah. What is it, like Benny? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's his name? Benny, Benny, Benny Hinn? Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn? Hinn? Yeah. Hill? Yeah. Hinn? Not Benny Hill. Yeah, <laughs> Benny Hinn. And then I remember there was one group, they were like power lifters. Right. Yeah. Right. They're they're all dressed up like fucking the Heart Foundation. Right. They were like in windbreakers and shit. Like so, they were like for the power of God, and they're fucking breaking bats, and then they're fucking oh, yeah. ripping like phone books and shit. You know. Yeah. That. Yeah. Man, yeah. All those like televangelists like, yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. rub me the wrong way. Yeah. A lot of them fly fly private jets. And yeah. Stuff yeah. Like yeah. That. It's like Joe Olstein. Really feels weird. Joe Olstein. Feels weird. Yeah. Billy this Graham. Is- Ah, uh, Billy Graham. I don't know. Like, I, I. Are you a fan of Billy Graham? Yeah. I, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't. You don't want me to make fun of Billy Graham? Is that what it is? Uh. uh <laughs> yeah. I like Billy Graham. I like <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're, we're hitting an hour now. We well, uh, you know. Um, Everyone, going, what do you got this weekend? You're going to uh, I'm going to Incheon, Incheon and Wonju. So you're close, but that's not too far. Yeah, so I'm I'm going back and forth with this. No, no, no hotels. No hotels for okay. this one. So, all righty, all right, everybody. We'll see you guys next week, and we'll talk about Incheon and Wonju. What's that song? What's that song? <laughs>